Cases of police brutality on African Americans have sparked public uproar in recent years. These cases have called into question the practice of qualified immunity for police officers. Qualified immunity is a type of legal immunity that protects a government official from civil lawsuits. When invoked, it provides immunity from having to go through the costs of a trial. The legal concept frequently appears in cases involving police officers, but it can apply to executive branch officials. If applied, it shields officers from liability for all actions taken on the job except those that violate clearly established law. The Supreme Court invoked qualified immunity dating as far back as 1967. Its rationale was to allow officials to perform their duties without fear of constantly defending themselves against claims for damages. In other words, it was to allow those acting in good faith to carry out their job without deterrence. In 2015, the court ruled that California police were entitled to qualified immunity after they forcibly entered the room of a woman with a mental disability and shot her. In another example, the court granted qualified immunity to a University of Arizona police officer after he shot a woman who refused to drop a knife in her driveway. A recent investigation by Reuters uncovered that appeals courts grant qualified immunity to police much more than they used to. The Supreme Court may decide to reconsider the doctrine. Associate Justice Sonia Sotomayor called it an absolute shield for police officers accused of excessive force. And Associate Justice Clarence Thomas complained that the doctrine has no historical basis. Even if the justices weigh in, it's not clear whether they would abolish qualified immunity or even significantly scale it back. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.